Hello everybody, you beautiful, beautiful people. My name is Alex and today we are continuing our Let's Play of Oblivion. Yes, we are. Okay, so you can obviously see I'm in a Oblivion gate and uh, there's an explanation for why I am. Okay, so see, the thing is, in order for me to call for help for Bruma, allies for Bruma, there's a quest for that, uh, I need to talk to each count and or countess in each of the cities and in order for them to actually want to aid me I needed to close the closest Oblivion Gate to their town so they could uh, spare a few soldiers to help defend Bruma once the giant Oblivion Gate is opened. So I am, as you can see, currently inside <coughs> the one in uh, Nerskin Grad. Once you talk to the Count, he tells you, well, he gives you a quest marker to to show you wh which one uh, you need to go and yeah, close in order for the quest to progress. So I've talked talked to the Count of Skingrad, and he told me to close up this gate, and I am now at the top of this Oblivion Gate, obviously, and yeah just about to close this thing up. So, I'm probably going to uh, skip most of the most of the slaughtering and fumbling around inside these Oblivion Gates, but uh, I just wanted to tell you guys what I'll be doing this episode. Well, sort of. Also, the guy who got first on my last video, um, my little friend Milk My Panda. My Danish little friend, Milk My Panda. He's gotten a shout out before, so I'm not going to post his name on the screen. Uh, yeah. And also, meanwhile, I go and kill some stuff. Have a look at these pictures. I hope they will make you happy. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So, I close the Oblivion Gate outside of Skingrad. I should speak to the Count about sending aid for Bruma, now that Skingrad is no longer directly threatened. So, I'll go do that, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, I picked up another light uh, sigil stone. I think I still want to make the hood, the light hood idea, but that'll have to be later on. <coughs> so let's jump straight into Castle Skingrad and talk to the Count. Which, by the way, I also noticed that there's something a little bit fishy about. Um, I'm sure you guys will see it once I, uh, once I get there or talk to him. If I can find him. Yeah. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I have no idea who the fuck this is, or why he's dead. He just suddenly is. I came into this room and he was dead already. Nothing I can do about it. So, is this the count? No. Your bravery is the talk of skin grass. Sure thing. Take care. Uh, last time I had to talk to it's this my guy. Pleasure. I believe the count may want to yeah. wait here. So Hello. I have to wait for him to go get the count. Anyways. Um uh, yeah, it takes a little while to get her, so So here comes the count. And yeah. See if you can spot what the well fishy met. part of him is. Pay attention to his mouth. Mayroon's Dagon has no more love for my kind than for my mortal subjects. Less, perhaps, as we make poor slaves. Hmm. You have helped me by closing the Oblivion Gate near Skingrad. I will likewise help you by sending aid to Bruma. Hooray! Okay, so apparently it's common knowledge that he's a vampire. Or so it seems. Oh well. I thought it might have been a state secret, ah, so to speak, but oh well. Um, yeah, I gotta go close up another Oblivion Gate, if I haven't already, or at least talk to the next Count or Countess. So, 
so yeah I'll see you guys when I get there so the next Oblivion Gate or um, city I decided to ask for aid was uh, citizen? was uh, Kavach and clearly I have already closed up this Oblivion Gate and I finished up this uh, follow-up quest that came after it obviously so wait what okay I'm supposed to go this way oh yes into the keep yeah <coughs> I'm supposed to go talk to uh, the r reigning leader of the the town who are you Jazan really on hmm pretty sure yeah, he died during the Battle of Kavach at some point, I believe. Oh well. Good day. Good day. I have few enough men to spare, but you have more than earned our help. Sweet. I will send what aid I can. Ruma must <coughs> not share the fate of our city. Mm hmm Okay, so now we got Kavach's help. Another soldier, I believe should always be helpful when the big battle starts. So, I'm gonna go ahead to the next town. See you guys there. So, I just entered Anvil Castle. Let's see if we can find our Count or Countess. Uh, and ask for aid. How can I help you? What can I do for you? Anvil. We'll be ready if the Daedra decides. Hmm. Well, I kind of need to speak to your leader, whoever that may be. Is there a secret door? Wow, there was. Huh! Well, secret inlet or something. I don't know. Um, I guess I have to wait for daytime at some point. Or something. Um, yeah. I'll get back to you guys when I actually find the person. I don't want to waste any time in this video. So I just entered the dining hall and um, clearly they're having a nice little meal here. So let's see if we can have a chat with the Countess here. I am Melona Umbranox, Countess of Anvil. I hope you enjoy your visit. I trust you will give us no cause to regret our hospitality to strangers. Mm. No. I would like to send help to Bruma. But I cannot risk weakening Anvil's defenses with that oblivion gate open outside the city. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess I have to go close up that oblivion yeah. gate. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do that off camera again because I think I've uh, shown you enough closing off oblivion gates to get how it works. So, yeah, I'll go do that and uh, catch you guys back when uh, I'm at the sigil stone, I assume. You've got the hands of a smith. Yes, I do. Spend some time yes, I have. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back when um, when I get to the sigil stone in the next oblivion gate, which is up there, apparently. So, yeah. See you guys over there. So, I'm now at the top of the uh, anvil oblivion gate. I'm just about to grab this other sigil stone. Still haven't found any fucking gloves. Um, yeah. Seriously, having trouble getting those damn gloves. Picked up some other random crap just to repair it and all that. You know. Same old, same old. Nothing special. So yeah, I'm gonna grab a sigil stone I think I might need probably resist magic because I still need another 20% in order to get uh, a full 100% resistance to magic. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys back at the Count or Countess, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, I just got another resist magic in addition to my uh, light one from previously. So yeah, let's just watch this playthrough. I guess I'll get a little um, pop-up notification thingy once we get out of here. <coughs> so, yeah. This is... might seem like a very rushed or... Um, I don't know. 
an episode that uh, kind of just jumps around a lot and doesn't really show much of anything, but uh, I didn't want to throw you guys into another 20 Oblivion Gates. Well, I'll probably not have to go through a lot of 20 Oblivion Gates, because I think I've closed up quite a few of them, those that are near the other towns. I've uh, currently done Skingrad, Quatch, and uh, Anvil here, so I think the next one will have to be... Uh, I think I might actually have done Coral, or not, because I can't see any Oblivion Gates nearby. Oh well... <coughs> you sure gave those damn Daedra what for? It makes us all feel better to have someone like you around. I'm sure. So, can you send me some aid for Bruma? I've heard that you've closed the Oblivion Gate outside Anvil. So I have. I honor you for your bravery and service to my city. Mm -hmm. With Anvil safe for the moment, I will send some of my best soldiers to bolster the Bruma garrison. Sweet! That's awesome, dude. Uh, or miss. Farewell. Though you do look like you have a beard. Hmm. Oh well. Um, yeah. Off to the next town. See you guys there. So I decided to go to the Imperial City Palace to see if I can find um, the um, guy in charge. Uh, is this the guy? Hi, Councillor Ricardo. From the Blades, did you say? <coughs> Joffrey sent you? Mm -hmm. What's this about? This is terrible news. Under normal circumstances, I would dispatch a legion or two to Bruma immediately. Mm -hmm. But the circumstances are not normal, are they? Mm, no. I've been pleading for troops for Cyrodiil for weeks, but the generals assure me that the entire Imperial army is already fully committed. Well, that sucks. Besides, I'd have a full-scale political crisis on my hands if I tried to pull any troops out of the provinces. Hmm. I'm sorry, but the cities of Cyrodiil will have to fend for themselves for the time being. You bastard. Um, well that sucks. Please excuse me. I have things to attend to. Okay, let's read what the quest update says. Uh, I spoke to Chancellor Ducato the head of the Elder Council. He was unable to promise any soldiers from the Imperial Legions, since they are all tied down in the provinces fighting for the Daedric invasion. He suggested I ask the Count and Countesses of Citadel for help, which is exactly what I have been doing, so... Ugh. All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down, especially if Council is in session. Fuck you. Well, I guess I'm not getting any help from the... Imperial City. If I go then to um, Leyween, I guess. Doesn't seem like I've closed up any Oblivion Gates nearby, so I guess. I guess that'll have to be another job for me to do off camera, I guess. Oh well. At least I'm getting a bunch of sigil stones from this. Mm. Ideally. Get a bunch of uh, stuff I might actually use. Hmm. Hi. Are you seriously wearing full Daedric armor? Musgora Grub the Orc, or whatever her name was. So let's go have a chat with the counter. No. Okay. Let's see. The pointer thingy points me in this here general direction. Lord's Manor Private Quarters. Guess I wait then. Hope for. Hope they work on Sundays. <laughs> oh man. 5 a.m.? Well, that's not gonna be enough, is it? Let's, uh. Crank that up a couple of more hours. It seems they generally wake up around 9, so yeah. The loading screen usually means that there's been an update in the uh, in the zone I'm currently in. So 
What's all this about? I you look like someone who's comfortable. Hold on. There's a dinner party here tonight. No one gets into the room until it's prepared. <sighs> no one gets in the room, even after it's prepared, unless they're on the list. This is important to the Countess, and no one is going to muck it up. Ah, uh, ah, yes. The, um... Uh, yeah. This quest is all about... Bah, that quest is totally fucking up with my, uh... Asking for aid. Yes. Well, I guess we'll have to skip Bruma for now. I want to focus on getting aid for Bruma. And uh, we can do the uh, Sanguine quest later on. So yeah. See you guys once I get up to... Um, let's see. Bravil. Yeah, let's head up to Bravil. And I'll... Uh, yeah. See you guys there. <coughs> so yeah, I just got to Bravil. Terentius... Count Braville. I'm really rather busy, and I doubt that you have anything to say that I need to hear. Do you want to bet? You smug little motherfucker. I wish I could help. I understand the need to help defend the heir to the... But with an oblivion gate threatening Braville. Ah, <sighs> damn it. Another one. Although I was expecting Hello? that. That was a energetic and cheerful Hello. Well, I guess... I guess I... have to go there and kill up... Uh, close up another Oblivion Gate, so yeah. Catch you guys when I do that again. Wow, this is a lot of back and forth. I'm sorry about that, but... It seems to be the most effective without making seriously long videos. Anyways, yeah. See you guys. Uh, see you guys in a minute. So I'm in the um, living gate near Bravil. Just got to the top here. Mm, no. Gonna grab the silver stone. Gonna do that little um, save quick save thing to get something I might use. We'll see. Um, see how I see you guys when I get back outside here. So I just closed up the um, Bleeding Gate near Bravel. Couldn't really find anything I wanted to keep, so... Oh well, regardless. Uh, keep. Um, sigil, sigil Stone, I mean, of course. Just grab the 20% shield, whatever. I don't really have that much space left on my uh, armor to fit anything anyways. I closed the Oblivion Gate outside of Breville. I should speak to the Count about sending aid to Bruma now that Breville is no longer directly threatened. So yeah. Gotta go do that. See you guys there. So we got to the Count Breville. It was you that closed that Oblivion <coughs> Gate, wasn't it? That was a brave thing to do. Tja. If only you knew how many I have closed up. Thank you for closing the Oblivion Gate that was threatening mm. Reville. I will send my guard captain, Viera Laris, to Bruma's aid. Awesome. Okay. Bye. So, I guess next up we have... Um, let's see. I think we have Shaden Hall left and uh, Coral. These are the two towns left. Let's... Uh, Let's finish up these, and uh, I think that's an episode for today. You look like a bright one. It's coming up on uh, 20 minutes or something, right about now. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, when I get to uh, the Count of Shaden Hall, or Countess, I don't know which. But yeah, see you there. So, I'm uh, standing and waiting for the Count to arrive, and uh, I believe that's him, right there. Fancy that, with the Mohawk. Yes. K 
Count Andal Andia Andirus. Okay. I don't have time to chat right now. With that oblivion gate looming outside the city walls, we're bracing for an attack. Perhaps we can speak later. Hmm. My first responsibility is to the people of Chadenhall. They look to me for protection in these dark times. With an open oblivion. Okay, so another Good oblivion gate for me to close up. Um, yeah, same deal. Gotta go close that up. See you guys when I get back to the top of the um, gate. Unless, of course, something awesome happens, I'll uh, throw you guys in the loop. So, yeah, see you guys over there. So, apparently, there's a quest in this gate. Hello, Mr. Crow. I know, I'm holding you awake. But it's uh, 7 in the morning, so you should be getting up right about now, anyways. I've come upon the Oblivion Gate dominating the landscape outside the walls of Shadenhall. A few Shadenhall guards seem to be patrolling its perimeter. I should approach one of them and see if I can render any assistance. So I shall. Please speak to Aminus. He can tell you what you need to know. Aminus? I'd advise you to keep your distance Sure, yeah, whatever. Haven't you heard about these gates to Oblivion opening up all... Well, then, you know what they're capable of producing. Although, nothing has come through ever since Far Village. Hmm. About two days ago, Count Indaris' son, Farwill, entered the Oblivion Gate with six other men. We haven't heard from them since then. Okay, so... The Count fears the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch. At yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. You know what? Newt? It's top. I'm not really interested in completing your quest for you. <sighs> Damn it. Well, if I encounter this Farvel character, I, uh. I guess I'll, uh. put that in the video, but, uh, for now, I just want to focus on closing the Oblivion Gate, of course. So, yeah. Oh, okay. See you guys when something happens, okay? I've located Farwell and one of the other survivors of his group. They look wounded and shaken. I should speak to them and learn what's happened here. It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? Um. We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chadenhall. We fear no being, and we strike fire. Many wish to join our ranks. Until now, we numbered only seven, but attacked like a regiment. Our enemies quake at our approach and falter at... Not so much, no. I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them. But they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chait. Mm. Are you mad? Now, I... The sigil... The sigil... Damn it. The path is yours. Lead on. Guess I have to uh, help these guys get out of here. Man, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to deal with these guys. Kind of makes the video a lot longer than I expected it to be. Paralysis. Oh, you so silly. Well, oh, that's uncool. Did Farvel just die? Okay. I hope he's not dying out there. Farvel has been slain. I should take his signet ring from his body to the Count of Shadenhall as proof of his son's demise. Well, <laughs> uh, I guess that uh, kind of helps me in a way. Because now I don't have to deal with that quest anymore. Let's uh, see what this guy has to say before I... All this, and now Farwheel is dead. 
Oblivion is truly cursed. Make sure you take his signet ring to bring to the Count. There isn't much more to say. You'll be missed. I'm sure you wish to hear the real story, rather than far Not long after the gate opened, Farwell decided an assault was in order. We charged inside. Three of us were cut down in the first wave. We pressed on at Farwell's behest. We lost two more. We found the way back. Had we brought a city watch contingent, we might have taken the sigil stone with minimal losses. Hmm. Instead, far the city. So Farwell was a asshole. Okay. Well, I'll see if I can somehow get this sigil stone or ring without dying. We'll see. But uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys back at the uh, Sigil Stone. I don't want to waste any more time on this quest uh, in this video. So yeah, see you guys up, up there. So, um, uh, Bremen, I think his name was, the guy who was with uh, Endaris, or the uh, kid. Yeah, Endaris, he managed to get himself killed as well, so I just grabbed his medallion. Um, yeah, I did get the ring as well. Uh, what else? Yeah, fought my way up, about to grab the sigil stone, as per usual. So yeah, I'll do that and see you guys back outside. Anyways, actually I don't think I want to grab anything special. Let's just see what it is real quick. Feather... Sure, why not? So yeah, I guess we have to go tell the Count that his son has died and all of his uh, knights have now been slain. Hopefully um, he will send some aid. After all, speak to the Count, sending aid to Bruman, blah blah blah. But you know, with my luck, after I touched the seal stone I appeared outside the Blooming Gate. Back to Back on Tamrio. The gate has been destroyed. I shall report actions to Aminus Gregory as soon as possible. Yep. Yes, I'll do that. You've done it! He has been and slain. And it's a sad day in Chaden Hall. The knights were boastful louts, but they didn't deserve. I'll stay here and do a final sweep of the area. You're to report to the Count directly, as he wishes to speak with you. Mm hmm. Probably to tell me that uh, since I managed to get his son killed, I'm not going to uh, get any aid for Bruma. Knowing the cocky count, he seemed like a total dickhole, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'll see you guys back in the count's chambers. So, just arrived in the castle of. Chaden Hall, see what the Count has to say about his son's demise. I'm pleased to finally meet the savior of Chaden Hall. Mm -hmm. And although the death of Farwell saddens me, I know you did the best you could. Hmm. I realize he was trying at times, and he spoke before he thought, but he was still my son, and I adored him greatly. Hmm. I'm sure he was difficult to travel with, yeah. and I respect your patience, whereas others would have left him to die. I'm sure you fought at his side. I did. Your actions are duly noted, and your reward will be in gold. I don't need your fucking gold. I thank you for your sympathy. You're truly a noble individual. <laughs> Were you able to retrieve anything? Thank you. You are truly worthy of all the praise being given to you. I salute you. I'll keep the ring as a reminder of... Hmm. On second thought, you keep it. You were the last to travel with him, and I feel you deserve it as a memento. I won't take no for an answer. I thank you on behalf of all the citizens. I will not forget your service to Chaden Hall. Closing the Oblivion Gate outside the city was a daring feat. Sure. I do not blame you for my son's death. He brought that upon himself, as hard as it is for a father to... Since the immediate threat to Chaden Hall is now eliminated, I will grant your request... Awesome. Okay, so, you too. Um, while he at first was a total 
bumhole. Uh, he decided to aid me after all. So I guess uh, the last one is now to uh, jump over to uh, Coral and uh, see if we can get their aid. Uh, hopefully this episode won't exceed to 30 minutes too much. But yeah, see you guys uh, over there. Just arrived in Coral. Um, gonna see if we can talk to the... Hello, I'm Leith Wavrik, the Chief Herald and Countess Velga's attendant. Welcome mm. to Coral. The Countess is in attendance from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening, if you wish. Okay, well. Fare thee well. Guess I'll have to wait for a few hours then. Uh, 6 in the morning, he says. Okay. Let's see if we can't wait until then, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is. I assume. Uh, bodyguard? Where's the Countess? Oh. Hello. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Countess Valga of Coral. Mm -hmm. I wish I had time to chat. While I understand Bruma's need, I cannot spare any soldiers. Blah blah blah. Goodbye. Close up the Oblivion Gate. Blah blah blah. Good to see. You. Pretty much. So I'm gonna go do that again, and uh, yeah, see you guys back at the Sigil Stone once I get there. So I just got to the top of the uh, this here uh, Oblivion Gate as well, and uh, apparently I just got a Master of Modern Pestle, which I actually do need. From this hair uh, blood sack thingy. So that's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, I think the one I have currently is just an apprentice one. So that's pretty damn sweet. Still need a. Uh, yeah, so the master one is actually better than all the other, all the rest. So that's pretty good. Each of these um, tools actually have a different effect. I think the uh mortar and pestle actually makes the uh, effects last longer and this one has stronger effects etc etc anyways let's just grab this hair uh, grab this hair sigil stone and uh, head back to the count the countess I believe she was a countess Resist magic fortify speed I don't really need that. But, uh, I mean, what the hell am I gonna grab other than that? Still didn't get any of those uh, gloves either. Which totally sucks. I'm hoping I get some, uh, get some gloves in uh, the Great Oblivion Gate that I'm, I will be closing up later. Next episode, I believe. I think I'll make that next episode, unless we continue our quest for the uh, for the Black Hood. <coughs> so I'm just ignoring the mobs because, uh, well, I'm actually fed up with uh, killing Deidre at this point. I hope you have understanding for that. So let's see, Coro. Coral Northgate? No. Castle Coral. Yeah. Let's head up there and uh, Looks like you're handy with a blade. get some aid for Bruma. Get some more aid for Bruma and uh, then we can finish up this episode. I am fed up with killing Daedra today, so. And it's a pleasure to. Your reputation precedes you, Hera of Kavach. Mm -hmm. You have done my city a great. I will now gladly send soldiers to aid in the defense of Bruma. Okay, cool. So, Goodbye. I believe that is all. There's one one town I didn't get. Looks like you're handy with a blade. Yes, yes. It's one town I didn't get help from, Leiween, but that's because there was a quest there that interrupted by or interfered with the uh, 
with the uh, with my quest to get aid for Bruma. So let's head over here, and I believe there should be. Yeah. Hi there. What's going on with you? I understand Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. What's new with you? So yeah, as you can see, there are um, guards from pretty much every town now setting up, setting up camp around uh, Bruma here, and they should be helping out when the time comes to uh, open the Great Oblivion Gate, which will be new now. Oh! Next episode, I believe. <clears throat> Let's uh, go have a little chat. Well, let's go stand here and next episode we uh, open up a great oblivion gate. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, person who gets first on this video, of course, gets a shout out of next video. And uh, yeah, if you didn't catch those, if I didn't remember to put out those screenshots earlier, uh, here they are again, anyways. So yeah. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.